Hey guys, I've got a new tutorial for you today, and this is going to be um, one of the ones that people have been asking for a very long time. It's probably one of my most requested tutorials, and now what it's going to be, as you can tell, is we're going to be opening and closing doors. But as I've done in many other tutorials, I'm going to be using a Raycast, and that just makes it easier so that we can detect the distance at which it's at and show a GUI and do whatever we need to do. So, this just a disclaimer at the beginning, it may not be the best way to do it, but here's a way that I find quite easy and straightforward and easy for everybody to understand. All I've got in my scene is my first burst controller and then a cube which is going to act as our door. Now, I could have changed this in 3ds Max to make the pivot point over here so we'd be able to rotate the door more easily when we come to animate it, but for the sake of this we'll leave it like this and everybody can see. So. Initially, what I actually want to do is create two animations. So if I select whatever object you want to put animations on, you can do this in an external program or you can do this in Unity. So what we can do is go component, miscellaneous, and then choose animation. So And then what we're going to do is we're going to have an animation size of 2. And then what we're going to do is go to window, animation. So first of all, we're going to record a new clip. And we're going to call this door open. And then we'll scrub across to say 30 seconds. And I'll just grab the rotate tool, rotate that here, and just shift that to there. Initially, it's not going to be exactly like a door. Maybe I'll move it a little bit over. So that far. Because obviously. I've not changed the pivot point so it doesn't rotate um, round properly. So then what we're going to do is we're going to actually record another clip. So we'll create another one by clicking that little drop down and we'll choose door close. So you might think oh, how we're going to match this up. But what we can do is go to door open. What we're going to do is copy the frames, control C to copy the uh, frames that we've already got. Go to the door close and what we'll do is paste those in. Instead of just trying to manually do it, what we'll do is pull these frames across and then pull these frames back so you go to 30 seconds there and select all these frames and put them to the start. So what it is is the exact copy but just reversing the frames. So then what we'll do is we'll close this. It's created another two so I'll just take that out. And what I'll do is add door open to the top, add door one to there and all close to here. Obviously you need to mess about with that because that just changed a few times for me. So all we've got and you can test your animations if you click on your animations at the bottom and you click and you might need to drag your object in from the hierarchy over to this panel here if it doesn't already display so what you can see is that is my door closing looping over and over and that's the door opening looping over and over so we can check that it works fine. So initially what we're actually going to do is make sure that play automatically is unticked because we don't want to be able to do that. So we're going to get straight into the script now. So we're going to create a new JavaScript and we're going to call this opening door or whatever you want to call it. And then we'll open up in Mono Develop. And then once we're opening Mono Develop, I'll zoom in a little bit so everybody can see. Then we'll start by writing private variable GUI show as type boolean equal to false then private I'll keep these together private variable is open colon boolean equal to false again got to be careful sometimes because you uh, mono develop changes that then we'll have variable called dar and have that as type game object with two capitals at the beginning of each word and then variable Ray length set equal to 10. So initially, we're going to write an up, uh, update function. So, function update, then add two curly brackets below. And we're going to start by writing the raycast like I've done in other tutorials. So, variable hit colon raycast hit with a semicolon. Then, variable fwd for forward. And then we'll say it equals transform dot transform direction open brackets vector three 
dot forward, close the brackets up, add a semicolon. Then below here we'll say if physics dot raycast open brackets transform make sure this is lowercase transform dot position but it's changed it again hold on transform dot position comma fwd comma hit comma ray length close that up twice then below there we'll add two curly brackets and say that if hit dot hit dot collider that just changed automatically of me hit dot collider dot game object but this time a lowercase g dot tag is equal to door and then I'll add two curly brackets below there and before we carry on what I'll remember to do go back into unity we need to make sure your door's got a tag of door so you can add a new tag there and then what we'll say below here is that GUI show is equal to true then add a semicolon and then what we'll do underneath here we'll say if input dot get key down open brackets in quotations e or whatever you want to open your door with we'll close that up then we'll say and and is open is equal to false and we'll close that up add two curly brackets below door dot animation dot play open brackets door open in quotes close that up put a semicolon then we'll say is open is equal to true and GUI show is equal to false so I'll explain this briefly so what we're doing now is we're making a raycast um, within the forward direction and basing it from the length of which we've set the top so obviously you can change this so then what we're doing if we're in range and the collider in front of us is tagged door we'll actually set the GUI to true so you can see that you can open the door whatever you want to do and then when we're in range and the tags door if we press E and the boolean is false which is at the beginning it means that we can play the animation to open the door and then what we'll do is set the animation uh, that is open to true which means then we can set another condition for when it's open we'll be able to close it again if we press E so then what we can do is that we can say if input dot get key down just similar like before in quotes we'll add an E close that up and but this time we'll say and and is open is equal to true then we'll add two curly brackets and what we'll do this time for speed sake we'll copy these two these three lines paste that in say door animation door dot close and that equals false and false and then finally what we'll do right at the end almost this third curly bracket in we'll say else with two curly brackets underneath GUI show is equal to false so this just means that if we're not in range then we'll turn that off so the last little bit that we want to achieve here is to make a GUI appear so what we'll do is we'll go function on GUI two brackets then two curly brackets below we'll zoom out a little bit then we'll say if GUI show is equal to true and and is open is equal to false close that up add two curly brackets below there and say that GUI dot box open brackets rect close that screen dot width divided by two comma screen dot height divided by two comma one hundred comma twenty five and then we'll put a bracket in there add a comma and say use dot in quotes and then we'll close that up and add a semicolon so 
we'll save that out but just before we actually go back into unity what you can do is make sure that you write else if after this if, if statement so in this if statement just write else before the if and then what we'll do is save that out we'll go back into unity make sure you add your script to your main camera and then add the door object over into the inspector so you just drag it all the way over to there and what we'll do is we'll play the game and now you'll notice that when we get in range obviously you can change the ray length amount and we look away the GUI goes we look back we could do it now if we press E you'll notice that there was my animation it obviously wasn't very big <laughs> so um, you might have to adjust that and do that accordingly to what you want but obviously if we're in range again and we press E the doll close now so you can play it as many times as you want and it'll open and close depending on how close you are now the thing is the GUI disappears is because if we set that is open to false it will only show it on that instance but if we delete that it'll actually show it when you want to now you don't really have to do a door close you can just have it so it opens doesn't really matter you can have it either way but I was just showing you that for both um, types of opening and closing you can do that easily with an animation so that's pretty much it for that that shows you how to use a raycast to open and close a door so thanks very much for watching and as ever don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers